Welcome to the spoken tutorial on your first C++ program. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to write a C++ program, how to compile it, how to execute it. We will also explain some common errors and their solutions. To record this tutorial, I'm using the Ubuntu operating system version 11.10 and G++ compiler version 4.5.2 on Ubuntu. To practice this tutorial, you should be familiar with the Ubuntu operating system and an editor. Some editors are Vim and gedit. I am using gedit in this tutorial. For relevant tutorials, please visit our website, which is as shown. Let me tell you how to write a C++ program through an example. Open the terminal window using Control, Alt, and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. To open the text editor, type on the terminal gedit space talk dot cpp space ampersand sign. We use the ampersand to free up the prompt. Please note that all the C++ files will have the extension .cpp. Now press enter. The text editor has opened. Let us start to write a program. Type double slash space my first C++ program. Here, double slash is used to comment the line. Comments are used to understand the flow of the program. It is useful for documentation and it gives us information about the program. The double slash is called a single line comment. Now press enter. Type hash include space opening angle bracket closing angle bracket. It is a good practice to complete the brackets first and then start writing inside them. Now inside the bracket type IO stream. Here IO stream is a header file. This file includes the declaration of standard input-output functions in C++. Now press enter. Type using space namespace space std and a semicolon. The using statement informs the compiler that you want to use the std namespace. The purpose of namespace is to avoid name collisions. It is done by localizing the names of identifiers. It creates a declarative region and defines a scope. Anything defined within a namespace is in the scope of that namespace. Here, std is a namespace in which the entire standard C++ library is declared. Now press enter. Type int space main, opening bracket, closing bracket. Main is a special function. It denotes that the execution of the program begins from this line. The opening and the closing bracket are called parentheses. The parentheses after the main tells the user that main is a function. Here, the int main function takes no arguments and returns a value of type integer. We will learn about data types in another tutorial. Now, let us switch to the slides to know more about the main function. Every program should have one main function. There should not be more than one main function. Otherwise, the compiler cannot locate the beginning of the program. The empty pair of parentheses indicates that main has no arguments. The concept of arguments will be discussed in the upcoming tutorials. Now come back to our program. Press Enter. Type an opening curly bracket. The opening curly bracket marks the beginning of the function main. Then type a closing curly bracket. The closing curly bracket indicates the end of the function main. Now, inside the bracket, press Enter twice. Move the cursor one line up. Indentation makes the code easier to read. It also helps to locate errors faster. So let us add a space here and type 
C out space two opening angle brackets here C out is a standard C++ function to print the output on the terminal now after the brackets type within double quotes anything within the double quotes in the C out functions will be printed now inside a quote type talk to a teacher backslash n here backslash n signifies a new line. As a result, after execution of the C out function, the cursor moves to the new line. Every C++ statement must end with a semicolon. Therefore, type 1 at the end of this line. A semicolon acts as a statement terminator. Now press enter. Add a space here and type return space 0 and a semicolon. This statement returns the integer 0. An integer has to be returned for this function because the function type is int. The return statement marks the end of the executable statements. We will learn more about the return values in another tutorial. Now click on the save button to save the file. It is a good habit to save files frequently. This will protect you from sudden power failures. It will also be useful in the case the applications were to crash. Let us now compile the program. Come back to our terminal. Type g++ space talk.cpp space hyphen o space output. Here, g++ is a compiler used to compile C++ programs. Talk.cpp is our file name hyphen o output says that the executable should go to the file output. Now press enter. We see that the program is compiled. By typing ls space hyphen lrt, we can see that output is the last file to be created. Let us execute a program. Type dot slash output and press enter. Here, the output is displayed as talk to a teacher. Now, let us see the common errors which we can come across. Switch back to the text editor. Suppose here we miss the closing curly bracket. Now save the file. Let us execute. Come back to our terminal. Now, compile and run the program using the command we used before. We see an error. We see that there is an error at line number 7 in our talk.cpp file that expected curly bracket at the end of input. Now come back to our text editor. As I said before, the closing curly bracket marks the end of the function main. So, reinsert the bracket here. Now save the file. Let us execute it again. You can recall the previously entered commands by using the up arrow key. That is what I did now. Yes, it is working. I will show you another common error. Let us switch back to our text editor. Now, suppose we here missed std. Let us save the file. Come back to our terminal. Let us compile. We see that there is an error at line number 3 and line number 6 in our talk.cpp file that expected identifier before semicolon and C out was not declared in this scope. As C out is a standard C++ library function, an entire C++ library function is defined under std namespace. Therefore, it is giving an error. Let us now fix the error. Come back to our text editor. Type std here. Let us save it. Let us compile it again. Yes, it is working. As an assignment, write a program to print your name and city. We use a single line comment in this tutorial. Now just try to give a multi line comment. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes a spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorials project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test.
For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT-MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. This is John Bonet from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.